So way out in the distance there, there's a radio tower. It's about three quarters of a mile away. And there it is on the monitor. Now I've got this eyepiece camera configuration. It's a batter zoom. And an ASI 174 Zwo. There is a coupler that you can get for this batter zoom. It's a T adapter. You remove the top of the eyepiece cup and then you screw this T adapter inside the eyepiece. And there's the part number right there, 2958080. I have it hooked up to a SkyMax 90 Moxitove. And I've got it sitting on an Altaz mount. And this is the way you want to go about this when you're first setting this up. Because you want to be on a target that's not moving at a great distance in order to do your initial setup before you actually go to an astronomical object. The advantage here is that you can do planetary and lunar imaging. This eyepiece enables you to zoom in without having to do a power mate in order to extend the focal length. So this provides a real advantage. It keeps your platform small, light, and very flexible in that all you need to do is drop in an eyepiece into your focuser. The tricky part is setting it up. And like I said, with that Zwo 174 ASI, I needed 27 millimeters of space between where it interfaces with the eyepiece and couples into the camera. The most popular planetary cams run in this format, the Zwo's uncooled configuration, because if you're doing planets and lunar, you're shooting video, so it's not really a big issue to have it cooled down. This makes for a real economical approach to doing planetary image if you have a short focal length scope on hand but you want to delve into some planetary all you need to do is just get this batter zoom the T adapter put your camera in there and zoom in like I say you want to set this up during the daytime on a distant object because it is kinda of tricky initially I had put the camera in very close to the eyepiece and I was getting large amounts of vignetting until finally I pulled out far enough to where the vignetting stopped so if you see vignetting, then start pulling it out in order to eliminate that vignetting. Okay, so here we have the eyepiece at 24 millimeters. So that's to pull back as far as it goes. And this is a Moxitox 90. So now let's go ahead and zoom it in. We'll go into and now we're at 20 millimeters we need to focus that a little bit there we are you need to adjust your gain and exposure settings because as you zoom in it's going to darken up you've got your friendly histogram here this is fire capture but you know sharp cap anything will work just as long as you can get your camera connected so I'm gonna give it a little more exposure to brighten that up a little bit there you go that's pretty far away guys that's about three quarters of a mile or a mile away so that's uh, pretty neat and again you want to do this on a stationary object that's at, at a great distance uh, to get your initial spacing for your camera so let's bring it in some more okay so now we're at 12 millimeters I'm gonna focus this out there you go just a taste and then increase the exposure you see we have to keep increasing it every time you zoom in beautiful beautiful and we can sharpen that up a little bit <coughs> there beautiful wow I don't know that's doing it for me <laughs> I'll tell you that this is really doing it for me um, I initially had tried this and had no success and I think my problem was um, I didn't get the proper spacing from the camera to the eyepiece and also 
I was ripping through the focuser too quickly. You want to go in real small increments so you could either overshoot it or undershoot it real easily. So you want to nurse it in and be patient. When you start to recognize some structure in the image, slow down and try to get her in there. And your histogram is your friend right here. You want it off the wall a little bit so that you know that you're not uh, clipping anything. and But you don't want it too far out to where you're not blowing it out. That's about pretty good right there. So let's take it in some more. We're going to take it all the way down to 8. So there it is at 8 millimeters. Just not quite right yet. And so i got to go back a little bit. And I think right about there is the sweet spot. Okay guys, so I'm here in the pod and I've got Jupiter in the frame here. This is at 100% and it's nice and big. And this is with the batter zoom eyepiece set at 8 millimeters. And it's pretty awesome. I mean, of course the atmosphere is jingling and jangling all around there but I mean it's really awesome it definitely increases the size of it without a power mate uh, and you can just adjust it according to the seeing so let's go to the 16 millimeter okay guys so we have Jupiter here at 16 millimeter and you could see it's noticeably smaller and again this is at a hundred percent zoom and it's definitely working you have to adjust the focus of course each time but this gives you an idea on what kind of magnification you can get with this batter eyepiece in a planetary cam pretty freaking awesome um, like I say and I don't have this long image train uh, sticking out like I did before when I put in the two power mate so this is pretty good so let's move on to the 24 millimeter view and check that one out so here we are looking at it at a 24 millimeter view and you can see there's a significant difference between the two um, the beauty being that you can adjust your magnification according to the seeing and and your particular preference for the object. Now you can this is a hundred percent okay this is a nice little capture program by the way by Zwo. It's on their website you can download this uh, with this setup unlike this morning when I was showing you the radio tower about a mile away I'm using the telescope service f11 1122 focal length ED and with the batter zoom eyepiece I like this a little more than the Moxitove because a little more aperture at 102 as opposed to 90 and unobstructed so you're gonna get real nice contrast and right here is where you can run the focuser and your go-to position so you can get that dialed in just right so we're definitely appreciating that so it's an all-in-one kind of capture very happy with the results here well, alright folks that'll do it for this workshop I sure hope you found it useful and what's really nice about it is like I say you know you can dial in that magnification to adjust for the seeing and that's pretty neat and then at the end of the day you got a great batter 24 by 8 zoom eyepiece that you could use for visual work so it's got a lot of uses and it comes in pretty handy anyway uh, we're dealing with a blizzard here here in South Dakota two days now and uh, so stay warm and uh, hey y'all be safe we'll see you next time